Hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics with Mr. Besh. Today's topic is solving equations one step. I'll be walking you through a few of these examples. First equation that we see here is 3a is equal to 6. It's a math sentence. Translated three times what number equals 6? a being our variable is what we want to find out. That is their missing piece. To solve this equation, the first thing you do is ask yourself, what is happening to the variable? Once you recognize what's happening to the variable, you basically do the opposite to both sides of the equal sign, right and left, to solve it. Right now, 3a means 3 times a. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So we divide the right and left side of the equal sign, both by 3, all the elements. 3a divided by 3 makes a, and 6 divided by 3 makes our answer, which is 2. Our second example is translated z over 3 equals negative 5. In reality, it's z divided by 3, which equals negative 5. The opposite of dividing by 3 now is multiplying by 3. So now we take the left and right side of the equal sign, multiply each of these by 3, and then as a result, z divided by 3 times 3 gives us z, and negative 5 times 3 gives us negative 15. Our third example, c minus 7 is equal to 8. Well, now what we're doing to the variable c is we are subtracting 7 from it. The opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. So we add 7 to the left and right side of the equal sign. Notice my numbers when I'm, I'm taking my time and I'm, I'm, I'm adding the values to both sides of the equal signs. I line the numbers up directly underneath each of the terms. So now when I add 7 to both sides, c comes out to be equal to 15. Again, another example, instead of subtracting this time, we're adding. 6, p plus 6 is equal to 20. So now the opposite of adding 6 is subtracting 6. So I subtract 6 from both sides of the equal sign. And when this happens, I get my p-value is equal to 14. Remember, not all the time when you solve an equation will your answer come out to be positive. In this example, I'm taking my variable p, adding 35 to it, and that equals 20. Well, now, what I need to do is the opposite of adding 35 to p. So that means I have to subtract 35 from both sides of the equal sign. On the right, I end up getting 20 take away 35. As a result, my answer comes out to be p is equal to negative 15. I hope this mini lesson was both helpful and in formula. This will conclude our tutorial on solving equations with one step.